Welcome to Total Drama Redemption Island. This series will have 16 contestants that had less than stellar performances, fighting for a chance for redemption and for a chance to get the $1 million grand prize. On Team 1, or the Agitated Alligators, we have Stacy, Brick, Bierdo, Ella, Trent, Eva, Axel, and finally Damien. And on the second team are the Ravenous Raccoons, we have Tyler, Justin, Sammy, Dave, B. Joe, Wayne, and Raj. Both teams will compete in challenges for several rewards each week. First reward is that the winning team gets to enjoy a week in the McLean Spa Hotel. While there, they can enjoy massages, Michelin star meals, and help for any injuries or illnesses they may have gotten while competing in the challenge. Along with that, the winning team may send a loser to Boney Island for the night. They will be picked up at noon the next day, and they will be immune from elimination. It's not all in vain, though. If you are sent to Boney Island, you will be able to search for the McLean Invincibility Statue. This statue will allow you to eliminate any votes against yourself or someone else. On the Agitated Alligators, Trent says that it's good to see Eva again, and Eva just says that she's here to win this time, so he better watch his back. Trent just says alrighty then, before introducing himself to Bierdo, who doesn't say his name to Trent but points at Trent's guitar and he pulls it out, asking if Bierdo plays, but Stacy comes over and says that her great 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 grandfather invented guitars after he wrapped his shoelaces around a tree log. Trent and Bierdo raise their eyebrows at that. In confessional, Trent says that he can't believe he came back. Nobody here is even half as normal as his cast was. Ella comes over and says that music is a wonderful form of self-expression and that she can sing while Trent plays guitar, and Trent says that he may have to take her up on that offer sometime. Brick welcomes himself to Axel, and he says that he hopes they can be friends in the future, but Axel just says that in the apocalypse, friends get you killed. Brick will have to pull his weight before she thinks about bringing him along. Damien goes over to Trent to talk to him while Trent tunes his guitar, and Damien asks what his opinion of the team is so far. Trent just says that in all honesty, it's not that great, and Damien makes a sigh of relief thanking God that it's not just him. On the Ravenous Raccoons, Joe immediately starts by saying that she's in charge, and if anyone has problems with that, they can go through her. Wayne and Raj immediately agree and ask if Coach has any more orders for them. Joe in confessional says that Wayne and Raj seem stupid but obedient, and after lightning, she will take all the obedience she can get. Tyler doesn't seem that thrilled about the whole thing, and he asks Sammy who died and made her team leader before Joe hears it and asks if there's a problem here. Tyler shakes his head, saying that there isn't any problem on his end. Dave is standing next to B before groaning and asking B if he's intelligent at least, and B just gives a thumbs up in response. Dave in confessional says that he can't believe he's on a team with someone who won't use words again, but at least this one doesn't do sound effects all the time. Justin puts a hand on Tyler's shoulder and says that it's nice to see a friend here. Tyler raises an eyebrow and says that they've literally never spoken to each other before. Justin says that they are from the same generation, they should team up since the other generations will definitely be teaming up together. Tyler agrees to this and says that he wants Joe gone first, which Justin says consider it done. Justin in confessional says that he won't actually listen to Tyler, but if he can keep at least one vote off of himself, it's all worth it in the end. Chris announces over the loudspeaker that the first challenge will be beginning momentarily. When they all arrive, they are told that the first challenge will test their endurance and their speed. One contestant must run on a treadmill to power a mill with water buckets attached to it. The buckets will go into the lake and come out filled. It is then up to a member on their team to grab the bucket and run to the McLean Spa Hotel and fill up a huge vat of water with the water bucket. Once they return, the next person can go. The person on the treadmill cannot stop running even when someone is going. The first team to fill up their vet gets the key to the spa and immunity for this week. They can swap out the person on the treadmill at any time, but then they must run with the buckets. Also, every member besides the one on the treadmill must go once before someone else can go again. Tyler nominates himself to go on the treadmill first and Axel volunteers herself to go. Tyler starts off at a reasonable pace while Joe goes first, grabbing the water bucket and going while Axel is going full speed and Brick tries to grab one but gets carried into the air due to the speed and falls back down with the water bucket overturned on himself. Chris then says that Brick must go to the back of the line since he spilled his bucket. Ella asks politely if Axel can go a teensy bit slower, but Axel says that in the apocalypse she needs all the distance she can get. But Eva yells at her, telling her to slow down, which Axel obliges with, slowing down to a point where Eva can grab two of the crates. Dave tries to say that's cheating, but Chris says that he didn't exactly make a rule for how many you could carry at a time. Joe returns and Wayne says that he has an idea, everyone grab a bucket so that when their turn arises they can immediately go. Raj asks if this is against the rules, and Chris says that he didn't make that a rule. 
Dave adds into the discussion, saying that it would take a lot of the weight off Tyler's shoulders so he wouldn't have to go as fast, so this is a genius idea. Joe and Raj help everyone get a bucket while Wayne runs with his, and Eva finally returns. Joe realizes she needs to step it up and decides that once Wayne comes back, she will dump half of the water from Dave and B's into this one and carry two, since B and Dave seem to be the least fit out of the group. The round goes on for quite a while, with everyone having gone at least once, and Tyler says that he's too tired to continue, so Joe offers to go, saying that the bucket is almost full. Eva realizes this as well, and has Axel get off to swamp with Stacy. Stacy is shocked, but Eva says that they need Axel right now for her strength. Eva says that they are down by four buckets, so she will carry four to even it up, while Axel carries two to get the lead, and then Brick will end it with one. Axel tells Eva to stop counting her out, and that she will carry three to finish it. Eva agrees and says that that's the plan, and Stacy runs as fast as her pig body can run while she fills up the water buckets while Dave comes back heaving and huffing and B goes next. Tyler gets ready to go while Eva runs with four crates, eventually making it back before B, but B makes it around the same time and Tyler runs with his one crate while Axel has three. It's a tight race and though Tyler is making it faster due to him having to carry less weight, he trips and the water splashes onto himself and when he gets up, Axel passes him and places all three in the bucket. Chris announces that the agitated alligators have won it and they get to spend the week in the McLean Spa Hotel as well as sending someone to Boney Island. Stacy gets off sweating while saying that her great 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 grandmother was the first doctor to diagnose cardiac arrest and that she needs her right about now. Eva gloats to the other team saying that her team doesn't have to boot off a member this week but their worthless team has to lose someone. Chris then says that nobody has said anything about eliminations and the ravenous raccoons are shot. Chris then says that for the first week nobody is going home but there is a discussion of who will be going to Boney Island to potentially find the immunity idol while living amongst the most terrifying creatures in the wild. Tyler hobbles his way back to his team, disappointed, and Eva says that Tyler will go. He was such a help for their team that he deserves it. Tyler is shocked and he is placed under the boat of losers to be taken over there. Trent asks why she would do that, and Axel chimes in saying that she probably did it because if Tyler dies, then that's one less person to deal with, and besides, it's not like he will find the idol anyways. Eva agrees with it, saying that was exactly our thought process. Axel then says that it's a shame though, seems like Tyler got the kind of reward she would have wanted. They are then told to enjoy the next week, and that Tyler will be returned at noon tomorrow, if he is still alive. He then says he is joking, every contestant is a wimp out remote where if they press it they will be eliminated from the competition but they will be saved. Of course they'll have to last until they show up, but hey, A for effort. And that's that for episode 1, what were your thoughts for the episode and the season as a whole? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Question of the week, who is your favorite competitor in this season so far? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you all with episode 2 sometime soon.